మరి బ్రదర్స్ అండ్ సిస్టర్స్ వీ ఆల్ గో టు స్కూల్ అండ్ కాలేజ్ అండ్ యూనివర్సిటీ టు గెట్ నాలెడ్జ్ వీ ఆల్ వాల్యూ నాలెడ్జ్ వెరీ మచ్ దోస్ హు ఆర్ నాలెడ్జబుల్ దోస్ హు ఆర్ వెల్ స్టడీడ్ ఆర్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ ఆర్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద సొసైటీ వెరీ మచ్ there are so many very well educated people also fall into mistakes and sins and we wonder how come they speak like this they are well educated very intelligent people i have seen even very intelligent scientist publicly speaking in social media with so much of divisive spirits and we wonder how come they speak like this just like uneducated people spreading rumors and spreading divisions in the community so even knowledge we need a proper definition for this knowledge because such an very well educated people are not seem to be well disciplined and also not well accepted everywhere so what is the true knowledge where do we get the true knowledge which not only shapes our intellect but also shapes our personality our characteristics and where is it available how do you get it where shall we find it let us read this word of god proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 we read the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge fools despise wisdom and instruction my dear brothers and sisters you may you may get doctorates and doctorates and, and uh, many degrees in this worldly knowledge but if you do not have the fear of the lord then in front of the bible in front of god we are fools because we are denying wisdom and instruction from god and only depending on the secular knowledge and the degrees that we can amass but the lord says the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge what is fear of the lord means is it that that we should be afraid of god no the fear of god is reverential submission to god reverential submission to god total surrender of a child in front of his father and the loving uh, the loving surrender of your life in the hand of god so these are the different definitions for the fear of the lord the fear of the lord means god first in everything whatever you, you may be well educated and you may have many degrees and doctorates but still when you come in front of the blessed sacrament you kneel down you bow in bow down in front of the blessed sacrament and make the sign of the cross and surrender yourself in front of the public i have seen many well educated people i remember one supreme court judge in kerala and who, who were from kerala and he was a supreme court judge is christian catholic i he was giving an a small interview and is is to say even when he was a supreme court judge he is to assist in the holy mass as a altar boy like altar boy he is to assist even when he was the supreme court judge and there are so many people like this though they are in the highest position when it comes to god they are ready to go to any level and to be humble in front of god to serve at the altar serve for the lord and ready to be humble and this is called fear of the lord if you have this fear of the lord then that is the beginning of all knowledge then you are full of knowledge and then you are accepted in front of god therefore let's examine our conscience and see do we have this fear of the lord do we consider god first even for young age many people youngsters for them god is not first god is only a side business spirituality is only a side business for many people for god for them the career is first sometimes their relationship is first and many other things are first 
that means there is no fear of the lord it is very important for us to know this let all of us have fear of the lord because in the last moment of your life you will miss this fear of the lord when you are in sick bed you will miss this fear of the lord because when you are in sick bed when you may be facing death when there is corona virus or maybe covid 19 in a different version when something like this comes in the future remember that time we'll think of god but it will be too late the fear of the lord is the biggest security in your difficult moments therefore let's examine our conscience and see and say lord i'm sorry i want to keep my priority clear my focus clear help me lord